Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Capricorn, uh, I'm gonna apologize right now. I had the flu last week, so bear with me. Uh, I might be coughing and sneezing throughout this reading. I'm doing my best. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not gonna resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended readings. You can also access extended readings if you're a member of my channel. You get added extra perks if you become a member of my channel. I'm not doing private readings at this time. Capricorn, love reading. What do you need to know, Capricorn? It's coming in for love. Ooh, lovers. So this is uh, it's the overall vibe. Oh, all the cause of it. I'm getting, uh, the words are, are important here. It's uh, David Bowie, turn and face the strange changes. You gotta accept them, you gotta, you gotta face them, you gotta accept that they're coming. They're strange changes. It's not what you wanted. But I think you're going to be okay with it. Let's delve a little deeper. So the overall vibe is lovers. The lovers is, it does what it says on the tin, but also it can be about choices. You know, it, it, it can be about, you know, meeting a lover, having someone special in your life romantically. But it could also be about making choices, choices that broke your heart. Why is the Empress in reverse here? So this is what you need to know right now. The Empress in reverse. This is, I kind of also sort of feel like this is part of the choices. The Empress in reverse, she, I can't hear properly. I'm sorry, guys. I, my ears, my ears are all blocked. And uh, it's kind of messing with my uh, connection. I know it doesn't make much sense, but uh, my uh, clear audience comes in on this side and uh, everything feels kind of stuffy in my head. So it's like, I'm kind of leaning into the, <laughs> sorry. The, the Empress in reverse, she's about being dependent on, on others. This is a choice that you've made. This is about the choice. You've chosen to be alone and you've chosen to leave love behind and not be dependent on others because that's the patterns that you get into in your relationships and it's not what you want. You don't want to go through that again. You don't want to go through the patterns in your relationships like jealousy, possessiveness, uh, cheating, abuse. You don't want to have those same patterns. So you've chosen to be alone, to not be dependent on others. Because that's how it always goes. It's going to be a short reading, guys, because I'm getting like, I'm getting a headache from, it's like an imbalance in my head. Uh, 
You know when you get on boats or something, do you ever feel that sort of seasick feeling? Like I'm kind of, something's, something's going on there. There's a... There is somebody involved here and you've chosen to not be with this person because you don't want to repeat the patterns and this is someone you'll repeat the pattern with for sure and tell me more this person this person's in your heart yeah like i've seen that knife in your heart look say it's a knife it's a freaking sword but you know it's, it's one of these i see it's twisting in your heart you you love this person but you've chosen to not pursue this and take this how it resonates this could be the other way around this person could have chosen to not pursue you to to walk away from you to not repeat the patterns in their life so take it how it resonates but Their love is like a sword in your heart and it's twisting. And if it's the other way around, it's twisting for them. If, like every time they're reminded of you, every time they think of you, that sword twists. They've been avoiding you or you've been avoiding them. However it resonates. It's just the, the patterns I don't want to repeat the patterns in my life. Whoever this is about, that's, that's what you're thinking. I feel like I'm going to hell. Why is the Four of Cups here? For uh, what's coming up next. Um, there's... Uh, there is a, a meet, you are meeting each other in the near future, you're coming together. It's not going to be easy. Boundaries are going to have to be set. It's time to have it out. It's time to say, this is how I feel. This is what's going on in me. It's not always about you. This is what's going on in me. This is how I feel. Setting your boundaries and meaning it. They're not going to like it. Tell me more. They're not going to like it. Pentacles, they're not gonna like hearing it, but they need to hear it. Just like this distance between you and this person. I don't even I don't think I mean physical distance. I mean, they could be, they could live far away from you, but I'm feeling like a, a great emotional distance. You've had to cut each other off from, you've had, they've cut you off, you've cut them off. You've had to set your boundaries and walk away from this because I don't want to be dependent on you with this. I don't want to be dependent on you. I don't want to get into that pattern again. I don't, I don't want another relationship like this. I see you coming in next in the near future and saying, yeah, but this is how I feel. I need you to know I've really paid attention to what you feel. I've listened to you. I've accepted and been very respectful of your boundaries. Now it's time to accept mine and be respectful of mine. This is what you're saying.
It's going to cause an argument that you guys need to have. Tell me more. They're not used to talking about their feelings. They're not used to expressing their feelings. It's, it's about time they did. I'm getting reminded of a time where me and my ex-husband were having... He's, he'd never um, been able to express himself in a relationship before. And uh, he found himself having to with me. Because I'm like, I'm an open book. He found himself having to. And I remember the comment, I remember exactly where we were. I remember everything about this conversation that um, he was like, I don't like this. Okay, he stopped in the middle of the street and he's like, I don't like this. I don't like what I'm about to do. I don't enjoy this, what I'm about to do. But I know I have to, and I gotta tell you, this is how I feel about this. I'm not I this is not in my character. Um I but I've I've gotta break free of that and I've got to tell you this is how I feel about this. Wow. I'm seeing that and this is what's this is what's happening here. This is what this person's gonna do. They're breaking out of character and they're like, look, this is how I feel. This is me. And you're like, well good, now you're respecting my boundaries. I don't have to always skirt around you and walk on eggshells around you. Now, now, we're doing my boundaries too. <laughs> Excuse me. That is about communicating the hiccup from source. I actually relieved some of my seasick feeling. What's uh, the best you can hope for? is that changes will come, the right changes, so you can move forwards. You, your Ten of Pentacles, is good. Them. Everything that was, that they held dear and, and, and that was important to them is, is now breaking down and they have to accept the changes. Or you do, depending on which way around this is for you. To turn and face it, this is changing now. This is not just about you and your feelings. This is about our feelings. This is how I feel too. Ah, oh, now I'm gonna have to be open with you and Not just brush it under the carpet. I have to deal with this. Ah! I'm going to read this outcome here. Death in reverse. And then I'm going to take it to the extended where I'm going to ask about this person. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. Let's, let's have a look at this outcome. Why is death in reverse here for the outcome? Okay. Might sneeze, guys. Things, things aren't. For, for them, it, it, it feels like this is not a good time for, to, for me to have changes in my life. I'm not earning as much money as I used to. Uh, it's It sort of feels like they're not used to being on the back foot either. So things in their life aren't aren't what I'm getting the word like retiring. It's almost like this person's sort of like getting to a place where they they're like, you know, I I just wanna it's not what it used to, so I'm gonna have to look at other options, I'm gonna have to settle down, I'm gonna have to, you know this is what I need to do when and, and They're not used to that. They're also not used to being... They're used to making demands on a relationship. Yet they're used to the one wearing the pants. And with you, this argument, this discussion coming up, it puts them in an entirely different place and dynamic than they've ever been in in a relationship. And they go, it's, it's like, ah! 
So all the things that are going on in their life, the changes, the financial changes, the, the, the life changes, the relationship change, the dynamic change, this is stressing them out. And they've got to face it. They've got to deal with it. That, that That's what's happening. And they that's difficult for them. Your love lyric for the day. I won't cry when you say goodbye. I'm out of tears. Out of tears by the Rolling Stones. And Surrender to the divine. Oh, I want to pull the one from the bottom. I haven't looked at it, but I want to pull it. Your commitment is being tested. Yes, I know. I know, my love. Your commitment is being tested. Do you want to be happy? Do you want to move forward in your life? Do you want to break the patterns? It seems like that's what you've been saying. This is what I need to do. I don't want to be in codependent, unhappy relationships that are freaking toxic and, and they're never going anywhere. Right. Time to break free. It's time to accept and turn to face the changes that are happening. They're just, they're going to happen. So go with it. Thanks for joining me. If you want to watch Extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there or head on over to uh, join my channel.